Oregon's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer, live in Fayetteville right now, getting ready for the Fayetteville versus Oak Hill game. And I got to say, for the first day of fall, it is absolutely beautiful out here. There are some thin clouds up above us, but no rain. The Storm Tracker 59 HD Dual Live Doppler is totally clear right now. We really don't have much to talk about, and that's how it's going to be for the next few days. That's also how it's been. So if you're getting ready to come out to any of the high school football games around the area or just want to know what's going on, here's what you need to know. Shorts and T-shirts. Look at these temperatures, 80s across the board. This is about 10 degrees above average for this time of year, so it really doesn't feel like a fall night out here. It feels much more like summer. There's even a touch of humidity in some areas. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention here is if you've got the air conditioning still in the window, you might want to turn that back on tonight because it looks like we'll see some more of these temperatures since we are stuck in this dry pattern. We are a little bit on the drier side, but the good news is we don't have an active drought right now. That could change with all of the dry weather we have in store. And again, here's a look at your game of the night forecast for our Crossroads Chevrolet game of the week. We'll be in the 70s for kickoff, slowly dropping down into the mid 70s and eventually the low 70s by the time it's ready to go home but don't think you need the jackets don't think you need the blankets just grab the t-shirts and come out and enjoy some of the nicer weather i do want to talk a little bit about maria as well making international headlines and something interesting with maria is that we've actually seen a bit of a westward shift in the forecast cone so we'll be watching that rather quote closely a little bit too far out to make any concrete forecasts with Maria. We'll just keep watching to see if we have any more impacts to worry. Of course, we're hoping for the out to sea forecast to verify. That's what we want to see with this storm. It's been a very active week in the tropics, a very active season in the tropics. So we'll just keep watch on this and see how it all unfolds. But to take things back home, predictor showing high pressure in control. Plenty of sunshine expected for the next few days, a touch of humidity, warmer temperatures, a big ridge built up over us in the jet stream. That's going to help keep things dry and keep things clear. And we don't see much of a change in the pattern until we get into late next week. It's even a little bit too far out for Predictor to show, but that looks like when we could see some showers return to the forecast and also see those temperatures drop back a little bit. But if you're not ready for that fall-like weather, if you still want summer to stick around, it is here right now. Look at this 10-day forecast. Plenty of sunshine, plenty of warmer temperatures. You'll see the 80s through the weekend and into the start of next work week. Once we get a little later into next week, we'll watch those temperatures drop back into the 70s. And if you look at the bottom of your screen for the start of next weekend, we can actually see some of those temperatures drop back into the 60s. So it looks like we could make a switch to be below average. Still a little bit far out to say anything too concrete overall, Shannon. I think it's going to be a beautiful night out here in Fayetteville and around the entire region. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Mike. You enjoy that sunshine out there, and we'll check back in with you a little bit later on. And coming up on 15.